remind you that extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice. Now, in terms of my viewpoint on the minimum wage yes. and why I'm against it, the minimum wage artificially raises the price of labor in the marketplace, and there are negative effects for doing that. Because if you have people in the, in the marketplace, people who want jobs, who do not have the skills that other people have, and might be, let's say, less desirable job candidates than other people are, the only card they have to play in a free market is say, hey, I will work for less money than this other guy over here who has more skills than I do. True. And if you look back in, in history, the Irish did that when they came over here, the Germans did that when they came over here. But we have an issue. Wait, let, 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 let me, let me kind of complete this real quick and I'll let you go, okay? So in our history, people have done that. But nowadays, a lot of the high unemployment in the African-American youth community is due strictly to a minimum wage because now these folks are in areas where the schools are not so good. I think we would probably agree with that. So they don't necessarily have the skills to compete on the open job market with other people. And therefore, they go to look for a job. The job says, hey, I got to pay this much anyway. I've got this candidate over here who didn't get as good of an education. I got someone else who worked for the same rate. They got a better one. Of course, I'm going to go to the second alternative. So, you know, that really does hurt in that respect. A lot of people can't get a foothold in the job market because of the existence of a minimum wage. Now, um, we have an issue. Okay. We have this issue. Let's play the game from your point of view. Okay. For one moment, ladies and gentlemen, let's run with your theory. Let's do it. Let's play your game. So let's say we don't have any minimum wage necessary at all. Okay. Let's say we get rid of minimum wage completely. Okay. Companies can completely hire and fire people at will for whatever prices that they want to set them for. I'm liking so where this is going. If, if I want to spend $2 an hour to pay you okay. in our current 2013 market, mm -hmm. 2013, not just some random market we create off the top of our right head. This, this specific okay. 2013 economic climate. Okay. I say that I run a snow cone shop. Okay. Okay. And my snow cone shop, I feel like, you know, minimum wage would be $10, but we don't have that no more. Yeah. So now I feel that Jessica over there, she's only worth $2.50 an hour. Okay. Okay. Now it's, it's my way or the highway. Okay. Take it or not. Type theory, right? It's my Very company. Specific business. It's my company, and it's either you take my two fifty that I'm offering okay. you, or go find somewhere else to work. Okay. That's pretty much how the mentality of most people work. You yeah. Know? Okay. So what's what's the problem with this? Well, here's the problem. So while we're playing that little game over here on two dollars and fifty cents an hour, or three dollars an hour, or five dollars an hour, and all this crap, because everyone's always trying to save a penny. Save a dollar. Okay. You know, constantly keep the profits higher than whatever. Okay, so what's the problem? The problem comes into the fact that over here, your companies are still raising their rates and their costs because they just want to make more and more and more money. And why is that? So the infl because the inflation of what? It's not inflation. The inflation of general cost of living keeps going up, but you've killed off the one thing that was keeping it up together so that everybody can kind of have a life. You've killed that completely off. So now gas prices will go to $4 and then eventually $5 and $6 and $7 a gallon. I'm just using that example. Yeah. But this person's only making $250 now. Originally they were making $10, but we killed that game off. So now they only make $250. $250, you know for a fact, is not even covering a gallon of gas anymore. It's not even covering half a gallon yeah. of gas. So. It's hurting people in the long run because this is just going to keep going up over here while we play these games over here. It's not conducive to an environment. And what eventually happens is whether you like it or not, even though you might be in the right on the idea that a person should be able to run their company and spend and, and uh, charge whatever they feel over here, eventually the people over here who just can't keep up, they get angry. And they're going to... Oh, no, they get angry. And it becomes, it becomes the French Revolution. That's literally what happened. And that was a bad revolution. So like, that exactly happened. So basically, like, that what, happened. basically what you're saying is that we should pay people more than they're actually worth. No, no, no. Uh, that's exactly what you're saying. Stop wait, wait, no, 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 no. Just stop raising the why price. Why stop raising it? the price? Just if I can get more money, why shouldn't I? Just stop raising the price. Why? Why? Because you want to prevent that. 
You want to prevent... So it's extortion. You want to prevent... So the, it's extortion. You want to prevent it's the revolution. Extortion. No, 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 it's extortion. Why don't you execute those people and put them all in jail if they rebel? Why don't you do that? Why Why should you have to give them money they don't deserve and they have not earned? You shouldn't. Are you or are you not? All right. Advocating that people get paid more than what they would be worth on the open market simply so they don't react violently. No, I just said keep up. I never said and that they should be paid. And why are you to keep up? I didn't say that they should be paid more. You are. Because if well, that's if so it, if in your example, yes, this person's wage, this person's labor would be worth two fifty on the free market, on the open market, and that's their legitimate worth. That would be it, it, that's that, their legitimate yeah, worth, and right? that, that would be their legitimate worth if, okay. they, if they cannot get a higher wage elsewhere. Fair enough. No, Fair enough. If you're they are them, only worth two fifty. If I that's know. what if that's what their labor is worth in the open market, yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Now, in that case, if you're advocating that we be forced to pay them ten dollars, even though they're only worth two fifty, right? Simply because they'll be violent and kill you if you don't. How is that not extortion? I don't think that that's extortion because, like, extortion, you come from a point of view where you're on purposely trying in an egregious and negative manner to affect an individual. That's extortion. This is not extortion for extortion's sake. Like, extortion is, I'm a bad person. I want to make sure that I can blackmail the crap out of you, and therefore I'm going to use that negative aspect of blackmail to go out of my way to fuck you because I don't like you as a person. There's no one in the government who's trying to fuck someone because they don't like them as part because eventually Barack Obama runs out of his four years and he's no longer president and ever again in history. Isn't so that, once he's gone, exactly, what's your excuse then? Ten years now. Isn't, isn't, isn't that exactly what those? What what, isn't that exactly the what the, I am? I'm. You, you a follow up? Oh my god! You gotta answer first. Isn't that? You gotta answer wait, first. Hey, isn't that exactly Jesus. what those? My show. Jesus. Isn't that exactly what those? Workers, you're talking about who are demanding this extra wage that they have not earned, aren't they extorting? Because they're saying if you don't pay us ten dollars, we'll kill you. What loophole? That's the famous. That's the famous loophole. That's your that's, well, uh, that's your famous loophole thing. See, well, look, here's you what. Be here's so what. Angry. Hey, calm down. Hey, so weird. Shh. Geraldo, calm down. Hey, you cut my mic off on your show, I'll cut yours off on mine. That's now, the point of bringing me here was just to cut my mic off? No, I could have done on a phone call. The man. point to bringing you here is to have uh, an actual discussion. You're not participating. Now, you're not answering my questions. Sure. Me. Now, sure. as far as your little loophole argument, yes, sir. as you call it, because we stated that the $10 per hour, the federal minimum wage, was a federally instituted law that was backed by the United States government. It's not illegal. And I'm advocating that we repeal that law. Right. I, I agree. Okay. Like, that's fine. That's your, your choice to now you're, repeal that. Now, your methodology for disputing that is saying if we repeal that law, we'll have a revolution of some sort. I wouldn't say right off the bat, but, but yeah. eventually, okay. potentially, potentially, I see, potentially. Potentially. I, see where, I, I see the potential there. My point is, why should we allow ourselves to be extorted by people who will have a revolution just because we're paying them what they're finally worth? Could, are there not other ways we could handle those people who are a danger to us? And I believe that there are. Now, I know we're getting way you off. You said there. a danger to us. Yeah, well, if they're threatening to kill us over being charged 250 over being paid 250 yes, they're a danger. I, I don't think anyone said that they were going to kill you because of that. You said a revolution. Jeez, a revolution, what do you think a revolution? doesn't always mean that there's Oh, 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 the bloodless revolution. I'm sure it is. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Che Guevara. What, oh, what, what, what an asshole Che Guevara was. Yeah, Guevara. That's yeah, it. whatever his name is. Anyway. What I was going the long way around getting to, and you kept going off. Hey! Now, okay. here is the question I was going to ask you before we went down several different tangents. Okay. Okay. Obama actually said something in his speech, and this this raised my ire. This this was one of those things he said. Please tell me you're going to read the paragraph. I'm going. Wait, no, paragraph I'm going after. to read to you what he said. Okay. Here's what he said that really upset me because it, it, it misstates the issue. Make sure you read the stuff before. It misstates the issue. After it too. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Don't what take it out said. of context. I'm not taking it out of context. Read it all. Here's what he said, and I quote. Corporate profits have rocketed to all-time highs, mm -hmm. but for more than a decade, wages and incomes have barely budged. That's true. Okay. So you would agree with this statement? That is very true so far. And, and I don't disagree with the statement on the face of it. 
Of course. Here's the problem I have with it. Uh, right. You you disagree with his opinion after that statement. No, no, no. I disagree that he's inferring that it's a problem. Go ahead. And here's why. Why would there be a link between corporate profits and wages and incomes? He, he's making the inference that there's a link between the two. Like, if profits go up, wages should also go up. You sort of made that argument. Of course. A while ago. Imagine, imagine, imagine you had a company. And to become more and more successful, you want the most successful people that are good at what they do mm -hmm. to continue to do their job better and better and better. Sure. So that eventually your company becomes bigger and bigger and more and more profitable. Mm -hmm. Right? Of course. So it's obvious that there is this, this like, if you're more profitable, if you're becoming more and more profitable, you should, of course... I, would, I I mean, however you feel that you should like reward those individuals, maybe it's through raises, maybe it's through bonuses or whatever, you would feel that you would take from there to give to them to keep that train going at that level to keep becoming more and more profitable, they're happier and happier, everything, like, why would you ever want to put a situation where like, man, you are super talented, man. Travis, you are the most talented graphic designer we have at this advertising executive agency, you're making $25,000 a year and we made... 300 million in profits last year because of all of your great ideas in your head. All of your great ideas, Travis. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make you make $27,000 okay. a year this year, and then we're going to go make $350 million. Not just 300, 350 million this year. Good job. Keep up the good work. See you later, man. There's something you're not How would you? How would you handle that? First of all, I'd be glad I got a raise. Now, how, really? Wait, wait. Let, let me finish. Okay. Now, how happy I would be with my raise. Did everybody just say, hey, no, I'm here. Quit interrupting my answers. Now, whether I am happy or not, satisfied or not with my raise depends on this factor. Could I get more on the free market? If that $27,000... No, I got you in a contract. I got you in a contract for five years. Then I can have no problem with it. You can't... You can't I signed the contract, didn't I? Yeah, but wouldn't you think yeah. that if they made $300 million and then they just gave you $2,000 in raise and they were going to go make $350 million, don't you... Th and then they admitted straight to your face, you're the best graphic designer. You! You're mine! Your yeah. abilities are why we are in this position and we're going to make more money. That would piss you off a little bit. Like, that just would get your gut a little bit when you're driving home that day. You'd be like, not really. Oh, not really. And I'll tell you why. Because I have a couple of options here. Sure. I can try to renegotiate my contract. Potentially. Potentially. I can seek other employment elsewhere and see if someone will buy out my contract. Potentially. You know, so I have other options I can deal with. But there's one thing that you're not taking into account, and I'm not blaming you for this. It's something I don't think Obama takes into account. A lot of people that make this argument don't take into account. Okay. When you have a, a, a large amount of profit, or your, your profit goes up, your productivity goes up, human labor is not the only factor that comes into play with that. True. That's very Absolutely. true. Absolutely. And when you think back over, let's say, the last 30 years, in most different industries. That's funny that you bring this up. Over most different industries, mm -hmm. when you think about it, there's a lot of things that technology has done to make our, our workplaces easier and to get more done. Give you an example. A secretary. Years ago, 30 years ago, a secretary would have had to do manual filing a lot of the day and, mm -hmm. and do manually typing things and, and going Calendars, to, writing on calendars. Writing on so. calendars, going, going into the boss's office to take dictation. I said dictation, not what you thought I said. Hmm. And, uh, you know, scout out letters that way, do the whole thing. These days, a secretary can do a lot of that on a computer, do a lot of the filing in two or three seconds where you take her half the day. She can edit uh, emails and, and uh, letters on email and not have to take dictation. She can get a lot more done in a much shorter period of time. So you don't hear of things like secretarial pools and things like that. Right. The point of all of this is that a person who's in a secretarial job now is getting far more done, being far more productive than they could have ever been 30 years ago. I think they were as productive as the time period dictated, you know. Sure. Businesses are busy, busier now, sure. so obviously there's more to do. But there's more productivity now, right? But the reason there is is because of, like you said, the technology is yeah. advanced to the yeah. point where they can be. So what that means is if I'm the business owner yeah. and my secretary wants a raise, I'm looking at this saying, okay, I'm making all this profit, but it's my technology that's playing a significant role in the increased productivity I have. Possibly, not saying it's case in every time, but possibly more so of a role than the human is. So I'm gonna invest that money, I'm gonna invest that in technology, not the human. Because the human labor is becoming, in some businesses, less and less of a factor towards the increase of I understand this belief, 